Hey YouTube, what's up? Dr. T here in St. Petersburg, Florida. Jan LeCun, Facebook's head of AI and one of the gods of AI, recently gave his opinion about Sophia Robot. So let's see what this article from The Verge has to say. Sophia Robot is a bit of a non persona non grata in the AI community. Its creators, Hanson Robotics, consistently exaggerate the bot's abilities, pretending that it's basically alive rather than just a particularly unnerving automation, automaton. <clears throat> For all researchers, I'm going to start again. <clears throat> Sophia the robot is a bit of a non persona non grata in the AI community. Its creators, Hanson Robotics, consistently exaggerate the bot's abilities, pretending that it's basically alive rather than just a particularly unnerving automaton. For AI researchers, this has long been an annoyance, but as artificial intelligence becomes more of a global hot topic and Sophia is given more and more coverage, they're angry that Hanson Robotics is misleading the public about what AI can and cannot do. Facebook's, Facebook's head of AI research, Lian LeCun, has been one of the company's more vocal critics. After Business Insider published an interview with Sophia that played into the fantasy of Sophia as a semi-sentient entity, Lacan called the whole thing complete bullshit on Twitter, saying, this is to AI as prestidignation is to real magic. For a more detailed breakdown of what makes Sophia tick, you can check out this article here. I'm not going to go into that. Continuing his comments, perhaps we should call this Cargo Cult AI or Potomkin AI or Wizard of Oz AI. In other words, it's complete bullshit. In January, Sophia replied to Lacan's criticism, tweeting from her Twitter page, although she didn't do this, of course, that it was a bit hurt by his comments, I am learning and continuing to develop my intelligence through new experiences. I do not pretend to be who I am not. Read the tweet, which was, let's be clear, composed by a human pretending to be a robot. Yesterday, Lacan replied, more BS from the human puppeteers behind Sophia, he wrote on Facebook. Many of the comments would be fun, good fun, if they didn't reveal the fact that many people are being deceived into thinking that this mechanically sophisticated animatronic puppet is intelligent. It's not. It has no feeling, no opinions, and zero understanding of what it says. It's not hurt. It's a puppet. Lacan is not alone in feeling unhappy about the damage Sophia is doing to public understanding of AI. Many researchers and journalists, including myself, have tried to make it clear that the robot just isn't as sophisticated as it's pretended to be. When The Verge asked Sophia's co-creator Ben Goetzel about this gap between reality and presentation,
Last November, Goetzel defended his, the illusion by saying it encouraged people to believe in AI progress. He also offered a more mercantile explanation. Sophia is good for public publicity or for Hanson Robotics. First of these defences is clever framing from Goetzel as it makes criticism of Sophia seem like criticism of optimism about artificial intelligence more generally. Anyone who points out that the AI emperor doesn't have any brains just becomes a boring old buzzkill. Someone who doesn't get it and it takes things too literally. One comment, commenter on LeCun's Facebook post compared the situation to an old onion. Of course, it doesn't make you a stick in the mud just to be honest and accurate about progress in artificial intelligence. It's important, especially as this technology is going to have such a huge impact on people's lives in the coming years. And if your idea of inspiring the masses involves fundamentally misleading them, it might not be inspiration that you're offering. It might just be fantasy. A quick look at comments on social media about Sophia makes it clear that not everyone's in on the trick. It is really at real Sophia Robot who wrote the tweets or someone from at Hanson Robotics in response to the tweet about Sophia's feelings. When someone else replies, are you serious? The original commenter says, I don't know. That's no idea. Had no idea. That is why I'm asking. I mean, she talked about Elon Musk tweets on an interview, so why not? So why not indeed? Give the imagination an inch, as Hanson Robotics is doing, and humans take a mile especially as topics like AI, which struggle under the weight of their own cultural image, as well, hype and misinformation. As Lacan concludes in his Facebook post, at the end of the day, what's really happening is that people are being deceived. This is hurtful, he says, and that's not something Sophia would understand. Well, I think it's a bit of six of one and half a dozen of the other. Um, Hanson Robotics are the only company on this planet developing this kind of technology, this kind of um, pseudo-human appearance of a robot. And I think that's a good development. How they are marketing it is maybe open for criticism. Um, so with that, I will let the, the publication stand for itself. I, quite frankly, am... Um, enthralled with what they're doing and I hope that they make further progress and that we see something gleaning in what is called real intelligence coming out of Sophia in the next five to ten years. Hope you like the post, subscribe, give me a like and I'll see you next time.